Live, please help me welcome Katya and Trixie. <laughs> All right, everybody, everybody sit down. We have a lot to talk about. I want to talk to you guys about Squarespace. What I was updating my Squarespace on my bold and brand sheets with my Casper mattress, <laughs> waiting for my audiobook from audible.com and my delivery from Blue Apron on my Squatty Potty. <laughs> you got every single one of them, but what is this technology? Did we travel through a wormhole, and is this 1984? This show is sponsored by karaokeversion.com <laughs> and uh, Speak and Spell, so give it up for them. They, uh, <laughs> you guys! Welcome to our show, welcome to our world, welcome to the lives of two ordinary female women. Yeah. You guys, uh, for the second year in a row, this appears to be the most well-attended panel, so clap for yourselves. I really appreciate it. The attendance is so huge and overwhelming that they've decided to cancel all <laughs> other panels and DragCon itself. So after this, let's just go to Denny's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, there's a fashion panel right now where they're actually corseted and look good. Look at your priorities. Where are they? Oh, everybody does look good, bitch. That's the oh, everybody here, clap for the drag queens here who got in drag this, everybody, everybody, oh my God. I saw Violet's testicle, the left one. That's, that's the problem is you get on drag racing, you get semi-rich, and then you're expected to spend money, but if you're me, you go to Amazon and look for swimsuit cover-ups, <laughs> but, but you buy like a lot of them. Wait a minute. That is a beautiful, uh, fashionable moment you're featuring. Can you show the boots, please? Oh, my Joanne era. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, bring to the stage, Joanne era. <laughs> what is this setup? This is straight, it's like a, I don't know what this Girl, is. Girl, they, they let straight people conference. handle it every time. <laughs> if gay people did the sound here, we'd all have like bejeweled Dolly Parton mics. Well, that would be great. A Britney That'd microphone. A Britney mic. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, bring to the stage, Britney uh, microphone. Britney. <laughs> Brittany, Joe, and Elizabeth microphone. No, wait, we have an agenda, not just political, also sexual. But <laughs> before we get into that, um, I want to just say stop bringing me candy. That was down on the agenda. But if you do bring me candy, I will throw it at you. I will throw it at your face, and I will yell at you. So stop bringing me candy. Stop but bringing us candy. Listen, I'm trying to be on a fitness journey. And one, one time on YouTube, we talked about dirt cake. Do you know how many dirt cakes I get a week? It would be funny if your three-bedroom apartment was all floored with dirt cake. Oh, I'm, boor I'm boarding my flight on Delta. Hey, Delta. And I'm, ca oh, I'm carrying four. Yes, these are my carry-ons. It's four dirt pies, yes. Yeah. I threw away all my clothes so I could bring home these dirt <laughs> pies. <laughs> so, um, wait, Trixie, I have a question for you. Yeah, what's up? Um, are you a country singer superstar by chance? Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, wow. That is very sweet, you guys. It's very sweet of you. And for you guys today, I figured out finally how to run the music video at my booth. <laughs> yes. And what a riveting music video it is. It's a riveting music video, and um, you guys, it comes out Tuesday. Thank you for plugging that for me. And I'd like to plug um, her album. Oh, yeah. Oh, listen, she's a real musician. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. It's a concept album. She's a, listen, she's a real musician. She recently received a royalty check for Read You, Wrote You. So she's a real musician. I am a legitimate female songwriter. Um, I have a crafted a hit from my soul. And um, it was a labor of love. And it's paid off very well financially. And I'm just very happy about that. Oh, if you search me on iTunes, it says Trixie Mattel. And here's my two endeavors. One is this, health, this, this heartfelt folk album. The other is... Geronimo featuring Trixie Mattel and RuPaul. Are you featured on that? Yeah, RuPaul was like, Trixie Mattel, I chose Geronimo for you because you have your Native American heritage. I was like, 
Geronimo oh. was a Native American war hero whose mother and daughter were slaughtered in battle. <sighs> now make your booty bounce. <laughs> well, it was a, yeah. That was a frightening, uh, what do you call that, omen of things to come. Yeah. You were slaughtered in battle on Drag Race. Listen, wow, we wow. thought of some really... Um, are we're gonna start this off. We're gonna start this off correctly. We, uh, one of our favorite ways of, of doing our show is the intro. So we wrote some fun intros for you guys. Do you want to go first? Sure. Um, I'm the grizzled specter of your old neighbor Karen, who won't stop bugging you about those skittles you dropped on her porch the other day. <laughs> Katya. <laughs> Hi, I'm the six extra characters that got you blocked by RuPaul on Twitter. Trixie Mattel. <laughs> She roller skates in here with a gun, just <laughs> Then I could finally just become one with, I could, you know what I would have, if you, if you met a horrible, terrible demise, God forbid. When? <laughs> when? I, the only person I think suitable to take over would be Jodie Foster. <laughs> Do you not think so? Listen, I don't want to harass her on Twitter, but would you guys go to, if we toured doing a viewing party of contact with Jodie Foster? With, with Jodie Foster. Joke's on you. At this point, I'm never going to see it out of, out of hate. So, whatever. It's, and by everyone the way, it's goes, a good it's movie. actually a good movie. I'm like, it's ruined for me. No, it's not that great. I think I could tell you the plot at this point. Yeah, it's not that great, but it is, it's, it's very special to me. So, anyways. Oh, oh moving right along. I have go. another one if you do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it now. Go. Okay. Hi, I'm the skin around your eyes that's gotten so thin and papery, Nita Benina Brown wears it on her head on Drag Race. <laughs> Full paper moon fantasy. And I'm the, the chewed up bubble gum that's really just detoxes ball sack. Katya. <laughs> Which is on display now at the fashion panel. Go ahead, go there. <laughs> Hi, I'm the beginning of the Joanne era, except the audience actually likes it. Trixie Mattel. You're okay with RuPaul jokes at RuPaul's drag con. You must not insult the Gaga. She will materialize and vanquish you. <laughs> well, okay. like, she and I just, like, have a lot in common, because, like, you know, we work together in American Horror Story, so, like, you know what I mean? Like, we, we know each other, so, like... Oh I'm the greasy tube of Vaseline that you keep on your dresser because you want to maintain some kind of relatability. You know, when you're <laughs> like this uh, really disgusting, annoying WeHo queen named Jeremy that I went out with three times last week and he never called me back. <laughs> Katya, that's not true. But Jeremy, if you're here, I'm literally going to beat the fucking shit out of you. Wow. I'm the young white girl getting sexy in the city, but I live in a bad neighborhood. Carrie Crenshaw. <laughs> That is a lovely drag name. That is a lovely drag name. Oh my God. Kind of LA specific, but who cares? Oh. And I'm um, Carol Burnett's older sister, Carol Brunette. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Hi, I'm the lawsuit that you file against your management because in a dramatic turn of events, your bad music didn't make money. Escándalo, mija. I'm talking about Kesha. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Trixie, don't. My cousin's name is Kesha. <laughs> You'll be fine. Thwarp it out. Thwarp it out. Work! What? Who's Moving got right him? along. Who's got him? Hola, Great. it's me, Valentina. I'm feeling very full today because for breakfast I had a men's multi. <laughs> a what? A what? Men's multivitamin. Oh, well, oh, sure. oh clap for that Spend body on that bro. runway last night. Oh, my God. <laughs> No microphone, no microphone. Mom, I don't need no microphone. <laughs> that, can we pause just for one minute and talk about that runway? God damn! <sighs> These season nine girls, I can't even clap for them because I'm so envious. I'm like, your perfect body, it's not look that good. <laughs> so yeah, you're like young and flawless and Spanish or whatever. So you're like I think it's just, it was they missing have, like, some flawless. kimonos, but I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Where were the casual separates and the bus driver wigs? It was a little lacking. Um, so, hi. Uh, oh, can I? Have wait, we didn't one. get. We didn't get a. 
a group. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, we forgot that. Oh, we're finishing the back. intros. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm the career opportunist waiting to replace Lady Bunny as RuPaul's sort of friend. <laughs> and hi, I'm Michelle Visage. And I. <laughs> and welcome to. to the show where we talk about. One. <laughs> That was a little long, guys. <laughs> the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. Yeah. The live edition. Okay. The live edition. Are you wearing nails? These nails are awful. No, I'm wearing uh, Heavenly Creatures nail polish from Sugar Pill. Hmm. Available at Sugar Because now that I'm, I'm in my Joanne era, so I play my guitar, the nails pop off. What the hell is a Joanne era? Oh my God! I only listen to German industrial Remember music. Remember when Lady 90s. Gaga did an unexpected yet heartfelt departure into country music? I just tie up bags of meat and bang them together. <laughs> <laughs> no, you bang them. You yes, just bang them. You guys, I also think we should get this out of the way, and it's a little thing that I like to call "Oh, honey." Yes. Um, okay. No. Wow, that Linda. Was a hysterically apropos, lackluster response. It goes like this, like I'm going to say, so we're going to go, honey, oh, honey, are you guys with me? Okay, one, two, three. Honey, oh, honey, honey, meat market, honey, sounds like my Friday night, honey. <laughs> honey, honey. <laughs> this character is a 50-year-old gay man who wears a toupee. Yeah, that's also true, yeah. Um, you guys, I would like to share this with you as well. Um, we created something very fabulous and special for you. There's two DragCon exclusive items. One is this beautiful fan that says Thwarp. If anybody has it, please hold it up. And you can get them at Katya's booth. Correction, Courtney's booth that I'm squatting at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Wigs by Vanity booth, yeah. Wigs by Vanity's coming out with a new color. Oh my god. <laughs> It's fucking hot in here. Yeah. Bunch of mouth breathing. <gasps> oh my God. Yeah, she's almost 35. Sunday. 35, 35 Sunday. still alive. I don't know how. As but we learned, we Katya's yeah. still alive and we don't know how. Still alive. Don't know how, but you guys are going to suffer for at least another year. <laughs> All right, next on the agenda. What's on the agenda? Katya, stop bringing me candy. You handled that. Yes. Please okay, bring me uh, Centrum Silver Multivitamins. By the I also, I have weak enamel. This fucker can hit the pipe for three years. Teeth are perfect. Never had a cavity. Perfect. I swear. If I carry a Jolly Rancher in my pocket, my jaw falls off. I feel like I have been imbued with an impenetrable crust of salvation via some, you know, supernatural force that can withstand any disaster, drug, misfortune. It's, I'm a special person. <laughs> the other item, you guys, is we finally have a shirt with both of our faces on. It's available at my booth, dragconmerch.com. Some of you guys have it. It's so cool. It is a cotton poly blend, and it is $85 and worth every penny. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to say it's poly blend. Um, this, this section says, when and why should you thwarp? Oh, well, I can think of three reasons right off the top of my head. One, you have a lot of grocery shopping to do. Two... <laughs> You're single and you don't know why. Three, uh, it's hot as balls and you're a delicate lady who needs to be cooled by the winds of the... Also, listen, if you do you creep up on your 95-year-old infirm grandmother and go like... <laughs> she will die. So, so do her a favor and just give it a... Yeah. <laughs> Wake up, Pearl. Yeah, RuPaul didn't, have, RuPaul didn't have one, but if he would have, he would have woken her up in a gentler yeah. way. If you are a devastating, devastatingly beautiful seven-foot-tall Glamazonian television hostess and you need to wake up a Brooklynite contestant, you just go, huh! <laughs> if you ever, Yeah, if you ever come across a barely legal, barely alive, in a full coma twink from Brooklyn, you just... <laughs> now, is that Aja or Pearl? Don't open the Aja can of worms. <laughs> you guys aren't ready for that. There's kids here. Oh, yeah. Who's underage? All right. Let me get my That's vodka. so fun. Do you guys want to know why I started doing drag? Not to fucking fraternize with children.
tomorrow's God's day. But come Monday, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your husbands. <laughs> oh my God, moment of silence and respect. That Jazz and Master Snatch game snatched my wig so far off my head. Did you like it? I'm torn, like Nelly and Brulia. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like... No, I but you are laying naked on the floor. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Beaten and bruised. Um, I don't like, I, my love for Jasmine is so unparalleled in this universe. I just, I mean, she, was, she had a chicken bone earrings. I don't know why. Chicken bone earrings. Did you see those? I think we know why. Okay. <sighs> Kid fucking and racism. Get your zhuzh. <laughs> Get your zhuzh. Get your, if you're, if you guys don't follow Jazz Master on Twitter and on Instagram, you're fucking losing out. Those bit. If those you've videos. ever wanted to just seriously be lifted to another plane of existence by pure poetry, <laughs> um, like it's just this dazzling gift of human spirit in a one minute format. She's so funny, you She's guys. She's so funny. Uh, by the way, probably 40, does nothing but smoke weed and eat, and has the body of a 16 year old man. She's an great. She has a 16 year old gymnast abdominals, and she's never Incredible. set foot into a gym. I've never felt that she was fully appreciated, and last night I was glad she got a little more fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's fabulous. It, yeah. And she a LA local. Your own, your own LA local. Yeah. So pop her corns. Next uh, popper of business. Next. What is, uh, okay, I guess we started that sound, it's sort of based on a sex noise in pornography. I think of it as like a, I don't know, but I'll try it. Yeah. 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 Uh, Yeah, we, uh, we just kind of made it up because we thought the first episode should be an episode where we make up something. Yeah, and also we wanted to go post-verbal. Everybody talks, and that's yeah, just boring. Yeah, it's too much. <laughs> Way too much. We wanted to appeal to people, you know, across language barriers. Yes, and also if it's hard to search for it, that's how you know people really want to look at it. Yeah, people, that originally they were like, you can't call it that. It's hard to search for it. If you can't find that on YouTube, you didn't want to find it. <laughs> and maybe you should stop looking for us and start looking for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Similarly, if you can't find the fire exits in this building, you didn't want to live. <laughs> not but that that's blind, news to any of you. If you're blind, it's not you should come home with me because I love blind guys. We are now going to move on to a section where we um, talk about, wait, no, we should, t do you guys have any, um, do we talk about the editing? Oh, I'd rather not. <laughs> no, um, we don't, you guys, so many of the jokes that you like, like Thwarp, so much of the editing, the entire green screen video, it's not like we're at computers editing it. Oh. We have two a very special, special people. Are oh, they yeah. here? They're, these are the people that make the show actually good. I'm just an old gramophone playing with a witch yeah. wig attached she's, to it. She's like Dolly Parton doing a Christmas carol. It's a mirage, okay? It's a mirage. Um, and we'd like smells. to bring to the stage, you guys. We put a name to, to the face to the names. The two gentlemen who really create a lot of the jokes, Chris and Ron, are here. You want to meet Chris and Ron? We are going to allow them maybe one to two minutes of screen time. Yeah. But it don't, ladies, listen, they're very handsome fellows. They. One. We got one straight girl in the house. <laughs> well, two. Hey, girl. Is that a rubber chicken? <laughs> she wants to know how to squelch. Oh, my God. Now, just now, you guys, Chris and Ron actually it. created the chicken. She was never even holding one. First, you have to decide its gender, and it doesn't matter which. Yeah, okay. And then you locate the mouth. That looks about right. And then you in insert your tongue like so. <laughs> and then you just make, hold on. I, uh, <laughs> 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 it has, um, you have to think more Rene Russo and Thomas Crown Affair and less Kathleen Turner and War the Roses, okay? So, so there you go. Now that has certified, let's see, what do I got? Hep C, Hep B, Hep one, two, three, and uh, herpes. Are you gonna touch it to your mouth now? Yeah, you try. Are you gonna touch it to your mouth? Are you, you don't have to, you did. She did, she did, she did. Kids these days. At my own panel. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Thanks, girl. I hope, uh, hope your Uber driver tries to talk to you. <laughs> it's very LA. We don't believe in God. We're like, I hope your Uber driver tries to have a conversation with you. <laughs> I hope your cleaning lady comes when you're home. <laughs> you are? 
Okay, should we bring Chris and Ron up? Um, I want yes. But now I'm serious, ladies. There are handsome fellas, and Chris it has a special place in my heart. So if you touch him, I'm gonna fucking kill you, Becky. <laughs> yeah. And Without any further ado, are they gonna drop from the ceiling or something? Tandy, oh, um, uh, best drag queen entrance ever. Remember, like Tandy. Yes. <laughs> Can you guys do a drum roll, please? Drum roll. Bring to the stage Ronald and Christopher. Ronald. Boom, 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 Living legends in the flesh. That's it. Thank you. I think part of the fun thing about our show is um, we actually have two editors who are entirely heterosexual men. Well, let's let's not jump to conclusions, Tracy. Heterosexuality <laughs> is a state of mind that can be malleable with the right odor. Do you right think after there? watching <laughs> hours and hours of us unedited, if they were in love with us, they would have said something <laughs> by now? <laughs> and it's a wonder you're not seriously like incapacitated in a mental health facility after just <laughs> How do you do yeah, it? What's barely. the secret to editing two garbage idiots? You guys make my life so much better, to be honest. You guys <laughs> That's love, the right answer. Love, That's the right I love answer. You guys. <laughs> Katya you is make my, my life so much <laughs> worse, but thank you so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Could you be more specific? How much better? Uh, what are you doing after this? I'm oh my god. I am going to do a triple sow cow, open my legs 30 degrees, <laughs> suction cup your dingling onto my pussy hole, and then. <laughs> You've never done this before. Never. <laughs> First never time. And where does that lead? Ronald, please uh, say hello. Yes. Hi. He's shy. <laughs> oh. Is it not working, Ron? They've silenced you. They've silenced you. The redheads always get the short end of the stick in this world. Well, when God, <laughs> when God decides you're ready to talk, the thing will start working. Yeah, I'm sure. I think so. <laughs> Is it working, Ronald? Can, can't tell. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there yeah. you go. <laughs> Perfect. Ron's you just have one of those little voices. I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> little voice, big dick. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so they created so many things. Um, Tell us what it's like to try to string us together in a way that makes it seem like we know what we're talking about. <laughs> you know what, though? Listen, we, let's not force the humility, though, because we have improved a great deal. Don't you think you've witnessed our progression from a couple of ragtag bunch of idiot psychopaths to two glorious adult human beings? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then you evolved to being just heads. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Head, the final frontier. Well, because we used to talk for like 45 minutes and then they would have to dub over us, hire actors to play us, just to like <laughs> string anything together. Also, we have a terrible syndrome of they're like, today we're going to talk about uh, high school. Yeah. And then instead we were talking about... Cucumbers. Anything else. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did you guys enjoy doing the green screen episode? Was it difficult to just be... I mean, because I'm just putting myself in your shoes. I don't want to... Sure, yeah. I wanna, you know, like, the contours of my body have a very seductive... Um, <laughs> Almost like hypnotizing effect on the male psyche. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it causes a tumescence. What about the, the what about the texture of your body? Oh, that Have never you changes. Full chub the whole time. Full chub. I, the moment I green screened it out, then I was back to normal. But full you had chub. To too much contour. I saw too much. Yeah. I've seen so much of Katya, by the way. Yeah. Oh my God. So much of Katya and Trixie. Off, yeah. Like, we yes. don't always wear things under our nightgowns. Never. No, but Never. I always do bend over and pull open my butthole after every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're doing a four-minute, like, stream of consciousness performance <laughs> of <laughs> same <laughs> parts <laughs> with no clothes on. Yeah. Yeah. It's my brand or whatever. Sorry about that. <laughs> who, who invented Thwarp? How did that happen? Ronald. Uh, that is your brainchild. Yeah, that's that's his claim yeah. to fame, you guys. <laughs> well, Thwarp, we were getting some shade for adding too much text, so yeah. I thought the logical extreme of that was to add text to the fan noise. Yeah, <laughs> fight fire with fire. Yeah, yes. yeah, good strategy. You know, Ronald is a visionary thinker. He just thinks outside the box, but also tries to fuck the box while he's thinking outside. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I like boxes. And uh, he is the most gentle, caring soul, as you can tell. He's a wonderful person. He's probably never going to kill or rape anybody. The tragedy is that he will never fuck us. We would, tr we, we would truly scoop up each of them, marry them, and take them away with our Drag Race TV yeah, money today. But it's today. a too good to be true kind of situation. Yeah. Like it's the, it's such it a would change the magic of the program. Like, for example, yeah. I hate her. I can only see her. <laughs> she sees me once a month, begrudgingly, and then hits me. Well, I think, well I originally with our schedules, I think our show was so fun to make because we only ever saw each other in that green room sometimes. Yeah. But now she lives in L.A., and it's super fun. Now it's, yeah. <laughs> I take these two fingers and I scratch outside her bathroom window and I just say, Tracy, I'm <laughs> hungry. 
She won't take me to Universal Studios. I want to play Harry Potter. <laughs> Did you hear that Jinx, Jinx uh, was telling us that she got stuck at TSA because they were checking her wands because they didn't know what they were? Meanwhile, Jinx day-to-day -day dresses like a fucking witch. Oh, yeah. So she was Full a witch at TSA history. like, this is my wand. <laughs> <laughs> One time that bitch was like, Trixie Mattel. <laughs> D did you tell people that I dress like a swamp witch? <laughs> Meanwhile, she was in a floor-length black gown and had wet hair. <laughs> and before I could answer, she flew across the moon. I was and she does this thing before she boards. She like at the air at the airport. She'll sleep on the floor, face down, yeah. and her wet hair will sort of form this crust of a halo around her head. Yeah. She is a yeah. interesting creature. If she and if she, if she falls asleep in front of a TV, honey, it's the ring, honey. <laughs> Honey, the ring, honey. That's why I bend over, honey. There's the ring, honey. <laughs> honey. <laughs> honey. Oh, honey. Wait, I have a question for you guys. Who would win in a fight, me or her? Uh, and I'm talking like a UFC sanctioned, you know, all fist, kicking, everything. It would be I, a drug crazed yeah. brawl. I'd probably oh, <laughs> my God. Gouge her eyes out and use them for witchcraft before she even knew what hit her. You think this yeah. is my first rumble with a crackhead? No. Detox and I were in the same Uber pool today. <laughs> All right, what's on the agenda? Um, oh, I have a real question, too. Um, oh. oh, I have my real comment also is, I think part of the fun of our program is, Chris and Ron are not gay, so they don't really even, do you guys oh. even watch Drag Race? Of course. Yeah. I that, didn't even think you knew about But that, that is program. important. That's like, I feel like that's the key to the, the swirly success of the show. Yeah, because we have lots of people who watch it. A lot of people's husbands and boyfriends who are not gay watch it, right? Because it's, it's comedy material, but we just happen to be in drag. Yeah, glorious, beautiful, stylistically <laughs> challenging drag every month. Stylistically challenged <laughs> drag. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Do you think next year we could get sponsored by Casper Mattress and then have, like, the booth where we just lay in bed? <laughs> Would you guys get in bed with us and not bring bed bugs? Not bring I bed bugs? I have a Casper mattress, and it's actually incredible. You do? I do. I the do. RuPaul hypnotism works on you. It was Michelle. Now, I'm, yeah, I, I avoid aluminum in my deodorant, and I sleep on a Casper. She's, it's fucking great, and it comes in a, a little, little coffin or something. It's really cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and you're a ghost. So yeah. for Casper, on a Casper, it's perfect. I love that. That's She's a great. young specter. Mm. So I'm um, having a barbecue after this uh, it's for three people. It's a uh, twenty nine ninety five. <laughs> Chris and Ron, I don't want you guys to get too famous, so can you go away? Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Chris and Ron. Thank you, thank yes. you, thank you. Not only it's not just the straightness, it's keeping them in and the they shadows will be, that, that helps the you know And they will be performing a six hour free meet and greet outside. No. <laughs> yes. No, it's okay. I told them if they made like a shirt with I I would buy a shirt with Ron's face on it. I would, I would use it as a, as a rag, but, you know, <laughs> a rag I keep next to my bed. Uh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't have a bed. I just, where would I keep it? Where would I keep it? I would blow up an entire town just to ride his face like the Kentucky Derby. Yeah. When, I, when I sleep, instead of a bed, I'll weave my long rat tail into a willow tree and just hang. <laughs> There's always time for a rat tail. Speaking of which, um, we have job security. Uh, the, our future, you know, ourselves in the future, gloriously played by, tr um, who's her? Kasha John Travolta. Yeah, oh. <laughs> John Travolta. I thought you were going to say John Travolta. <laughs> Fair, I guess. He has better lace. Kasha Davis and Tempest du jour. Did you guys see that episode? Yeah. Yeah. The eerie, th it was like eerily uncanny how well she impersonated me. It was kind of a... It was an insult and a tribute at the yeah. same time. Last year, you guys on our panel, we felt like, I felt like we didn't answer enough of you guys' questions. Oh, Do you yeah. I wanted, I want like, really good, juicy curveballs, Do you too. guys want to chat about the program? Math, science, nothing's off limits. There's also, he doesn't get enough credit, somebody sits behind the camera and moderates all this shit in the basement. Pete does it, you guys. He yeah. makes the show. <laughs> yeah. And he's gay. And he's single. Andy's single. Andy has a rat tail. <laughs> yes. Yes, Willem. <laughs> no, that is, well, that is way too dressed up for Willem. It could, you look fabulous. What's your question, young man? Um, uh, lady. Young lady. Uh, I was wondering if 
Uh, Barbara throws her fan through the roof at 30 miles an hour. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What is the chance that you two would have drag children? Well, that's great. Two topics I love to touch on. Let me figure this out. Let me figure this out. Human biology and mathematics. Carrie so the one. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, bring the stage. Carrie the one. Yeah. The answer is the limit does not exist. But like, what about House of Matella Logikova? We don't really merge houses because it, capitalism and communism don't really mesh well. Yeah. 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 I'm here. I'm here to generate income. She's here to just take yours. To disseminate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to burn it in a fire. <laughs> what did you say on the show? You you bury your money in a hole. Yeah, I bury my money in a hole and I fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> what about one from this side? Yeah. What's up? Oh, you look. Oh, fabulous. cowgirl fantasy coming up. Um, I was wondering. You were a huge inspiration to me when I was getting sober. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank well, you. honey. Just between us girls, don't tell anybody I smoke pot every day. It's, it's just a little bit of pot. It doesn't matter. Um, but go ahead. Okay. Keep going. Uh, I was just wondering if you had advice for anyone who was trying to get sober or struggling. Live in a cave for a month. <laughs> Wear like a fun sparkly top. Go out to a balcony. Um, make sure it has like a tall railing so you don't jump. And then scream at the top of your lungs, help! And then somebody's going to help you. <laughs> somebody's going to help you. Or just call any number in the phone book and say, I have a problem. You got five minutes? <laughs> That's how AA was formed. Three, you know? Also, if you, uh, you want my personal phone number after this show, I'm going to go get cupcakes with my friend Jocelyn. Oh, my God. Will you be my sponsor? No. <laughs> Next. Horrible. Who do you think are going to be the final three for season nine? <laughs> oh, excellent question. Ooh. Shake a lay, shake a lay, shake a lay. <laughs> yeah. In a miraculous feat of bioengineering, they'll, they'll clone her twice more. Yeah. And it'll be a clean sweep of the three. Listen, yeah. the ultimate thing is to really? break your leg and be ass back. If I, ever get to do all, if I ever get to do All Stars 3, I'm going to walk in, find my light, snap my femur, and be like, see you next year. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. brilliant. She, is, she is a true drag genius, and nobody saw it coming. She, she just boot scooted down the runway in those crutches. She Tanya Harding herself. Honestly, listen, if I walked in and saw some of those fierce ass bitches, I would have broke my own leg. I got, I got to get out of here. I think you should do it now, too. No, <laughs> I, think, I think in my heart of hearts, I want Valentina. Um, uh, Shea Coule and I'll say Sasha Valor. Yeah, that's a beautiful top three, yeah. It's so early to tell anything could happen. Oh my Jesus God, you look fabulous. Christ, you look good, honey. This was a she last minute costume decision I made in one day. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon Prime, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> I wanted to know if you could be any Sarah Paulson from all of American Horror Story, which one would you be? And which one would you say Katya would be? Um, <laughs> I think That's we're all totally clear on which one Katya is. <laughs> yeah. She's hypodermic Sally, obvious. Just wanted to make sure we were when on the same When hasn't she been hypodermic? Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I had a brief two-headed moment. When <laughs> <laughs> Wait, would you do Siamese with me? Um, I think that would get a little bit fraught with tension. Um, yeah, I, I nap a lot, Plus, though. when I inevitably die before you, you don't want to carry the dead No, weight. I want to drag a dead corpse around. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That gives such a mystique. <laughs> Who's that dead guy? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, oh, this? I just wear a coat over it. Just, yeah. What's your question, beautiful? Hi, I just wanted to say that I love you guys so much, and thank you for like inspiring me every day because I'm transgender, and you guys just being yourself just like helps me so much every day. Oh my gosh, that's so wonderful. <laughs> thank you. I mean, listen, you get to be you. We have to be us. So you're sitting pretty. You look fabulous. Uh, Good for you, girl. Put that on a fucking postcard. Yeah. yeah no, seriously, the thing, somebody mentioned that to me the other day, and I thought, like, I had, a, like, a real, you know, Ayanna Van Zandt, Maya Angelou moment. And, um, and I was like, it doesn't fucking matter. I mean, granted, yeah, there are people who will persecute people for being different, of course. But, like, at the end of the day, people are so riddled with narcissism that they're so busy thinking about themselves. Oh, yeah, girl. That they don't give a fuck what you're like. You have so to get on TV. Do, what you, you know, do it anyways, you know? Yeah, you look fab. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, 
I wish everybody dressed like this every day. What's up, girl? Hi, I'm Angelique. And hey, girl. I was just wondering, um, if you guys were to magically turn into horses, what would the first thing you would do? Like, what would, what be, what would it be? <laughs> Trample you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I would want to be, I want to be, um, have you guys ever seen a Clydesdale? Yes, those big yes. ones? I would want to be one of those giant ones. Because I think it's like being in drag. If you're going to be a horse, be the giant one or be the teeny one. Yeah. yeah. I would get a custom horse human like um, uh, ensemble, like a three-piece tuxedo with a nice hat, and then watch the Kentucky Derby from the stand. <laughs> and I just like sort of like whisper to the person next to me, is this kind of weird? <laughs> oh my god. What about a drag queen who's really dumb who wears big hats? Kentucky Derby. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you, Kentucky people. I like Derpy. that. What's up, handsome? Hi, I'm Eric from uh, Wichita Falls, Texas. Hi, Eric. And uh, my question is, who is your both of your favorite non RuPaul's Drag Race queens? Lady Money. Yeah. <laughs> we love. Bottom we love line, cut and dry. Coco yeah. Peru, Varla, and yeah. um, oh, uh, Creme, uh, uh, um, uh, Creme Fatale, who's here from San Francisco. Ah, uh, you guys, thank you for having us. They gotta clean the room for the next one. Um, I'll be at my, I'll be at my booth all day, all day, all day.